In this video, I'll show you how to connect your M4 MacBook Air to an external portable monitor. It doesn't matter which brand you have chosen. Well, the first thing we need to do is, well, get the cable that came with an, your external monitor. You'll need a USB type C to USB type C. And when I say to get the cable that you got with your monitor, it's because this is the one that will work the best. Not all USB type C cables are the same. Some of them are only meant for charging. If you have lost the original cable, you need one that is OTG, which means that it's not only good for charging, but also to transfer data. For example, the cable that comes with your iPhone that is USB C to USB C will also work. I'll put links in the description if you want to get a cable or even a portable monitor. Anyway, so the first step, Let's connect one end of this cable on either of these ports over here on the MacBook. And the other one, let's connect it to our portable monitor. Almost all portable monitors do not require any additional power. Unless you have a very cheap one that uh, still requires you to plug it into a wall socket, you won't need anything else. So over here, I'll connect it. and right away it should work, as you see. Now there's a few settings we can change so everything looks better. And since this external monitor is drawing power from the battery of your M4 MacBook Air, I suggest you plug your MacBook Air into a power source, okay? So plug the MagSafe charger over there because the battery will go down much quicker every time you use a portable monitor since obviously this one does not have any batteries it's not even plugged into a wall outlet so it will um, require quite some power on the screen of your macbook go on the top left corner click on the apple logo and then select system settings from here on the left side menu you're going to select display right over here now you're going to see we have the two displays on the top or built-in um, retina display of our MacBook and the external monitor. Well, click arrange and depending where you're going to position your monitor, let's say I want to put it on the right side this way. Okay. Then I'll simply click on my external monitor and put it on the right side of the MacBook screen. This way, every time, um, I'm using my mouse and I'm going on the right side, the mouse will continue on the display. Once you've done this, press done. And here, if you click on your external monitor um, on the top, you'll be able to change a few settings. So the resolution, by default, it will be the highest one, so you don't have to change it really. And uh, you have also cor color profile, if you want to change that to make the colors look more accurate it's up to you. You also have the refresh rate. Again, this will be at the maximum by default. This one is 60 Hertz. So this is why 60 Hertz is selected and you also have rotation in case you want to use your portable monitor, not in this, um, in landscape mode, but let's say you want port. Let me put it like this against the wall. Hopefully it does not fall. If you want to use it this way, you just have to go over, click here and select one of these. So if you want, to put it vertical, press confirm, and here we go. Now the monitor is in vertical mode. You have the menu on the top, if this is what you wish, for example, coding. But overall, this is it. I hope this was useful. Once you're done using your portable monitor, you don't have to do anything special, really. You just have to disconnect it. You can disconnect it from the Mac here, and it will stop, and next time you wanna use it, simply plug it back the same way and in just a few seconds it will appear right over there and the settings you have input okay in the menu there will um, be the same so over here you see the screen is already rotated i don't have to go through the menus every time thanks for watching again if you want to get a portable monitor for your macbook i'll put links in the description if you want to get cable stuff like that other accessories and i'll see you in the next video thanks